Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out and slinging spells. I hate your deck. Are we in Flavor Town? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. <laughs> Don't ever call me David. Only my mom gets to call me that. <laughs> Holy mother of God. If you really want to support I Hate Your Deck, there's a lot of ways to help support us. Number one way is through Patreon. Patreon is a great place where you get to join our community. We have a Discord where we play a lot of magic with our friends. And there's such a community of people from around the world in our Discord. So if you want access to our deck list, do you want to play magic with a lot of people from all over the world and interact or help brew your decks, the I Hate Your Deck Discord through Patreon will help you get all that done. Hey, if you've been liking I Hate Your Deck, hit the like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications when we have new episodes coming out. And we also have bonus episodes. If you wanna see those bonus episodes that were too hot for YouTube, join our Patreon to check that out. Before we start our game, we need to show our sponsors some love. Here's our sponsor, and our show will continue right after, so stick with us. This video is sponsored by Bloodline Hero of Lithus. Do you wanna create your own kingdom of Bloodline and send an amazing game with incredible graphics? Heroes of Lithus will allow you to create unique characters, build a kingdom, and see beautiful scenes and storylines. These creatures, champions, and companions have the ability to become hybrids between any two bloodlines. Hybrids can include elves, demons, demigods, orcs, dwarves, lichens, dragonborn, vampires, and more. All your hybrid creatures, champions, and companions will the talents and traits of their ancestors as well as appearances all merge into one unique character. Through marriage of characters and intimacy, you create an infinite fantasy world. Each gender of the bloodline has its own unique set of skills which work differently on the battlefield. The newly created hybrid creatures will have increased powers due to inheriting all the prior genetic ancestral abilities. With the ability to switch genders and increase your companion's intimacy, your offspring will become more powerful and your kingdom will be stronger. Through the marriage system, the ability to create over 800 individual fantasy hybrids exists. New bloodlines will be released every month which will allow you to create additional unique characters to add to your bloodline to make your kingdom even more powerful. You'll have the ability to play on Android or iOS. Participate in the Thanksgiving event November 24th to be able to obtain a Minotaur Champion for free. Play this game using my link below or the QR code. No Pulp Media. It's where we're shooting right now and it's where a lot of people come to record music or do podcasts. So if you're looking to do that, check out No Pulp Media here in Long Beach. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out and slinging spells. I hate your deck. We want to give you the true LGS experience. We show up, sling spells, and have fun. Now meet our players for this episode. What's up everyone, it's Lynch from I Hate Your Deck. Ready for another game of spicy or janky magic, I guess you'll decide. As always, I just love playing paper magic with my friends. Hey guys, Sean, back again for another special episode of I Hate Your Deck. Ready to play some magic with my friends as well. Hey guys, it's David, known as King David Savior in most places. I wanted to make a quick comment. I do read all of the comments on the YouTube videos that I'm in. And those of you who leave hateful comments, if you think that's okay, it is. Please keep doing that. It's the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Ray. I'm a Patreon. I'm here to bring good vibes and mediocre magic to the table. All right, so now that we've done that, let's have the pregame rule conversation. So I'm playing Jared Corinthian. He's a planeswalker. Basically, I create these tokens for the plus one ability. That is a 3-3 Kavu. That's all colors. Why is that important? Because his minus three. Choose up to two target creatures for each of them. Put a number of plus one counters on it equal to its number of colors. So a 3-3 Kavu can easily turn into an 8-8 and they have trample. I rarely ever use the ultimate, which is return target multicolored card from your graveyard to your hand. If the card was all colors, draw a card and create two treasure tokens. Jared is all about, you know, five color good stuff, getting all the good five color spells out there, and then adding five plus one counters and swing like good old school magic. Of note, this deck is a little slow. I have all the uh, tapped tricolor lands. I also have the companion Gigantha, which says no card in your starting deck has more than one of the same mana symbol and its cost. Everything in my deck, nothing has a repeat mana cost that I can have the companion. Why is this companion awesome? The fact that it taps for all colors and it can't be used for generic it is really synergistic with this deck. So the Jared Gigantha pairing is pretty fun and pretty sweet. So back to the old school magic, getting creatures big and swinging with them. I think the only proxy in this deck I have is I printed a three visits. <laughs> nice. <laughs> three visits? Expensive yeah. card. That's, okay. the, that's the proxy. <laughs> that's <laughs> budget site. Jared so. riding in on Gigantha, not bad. Holding on to those antlers. <laughs> the whole five color <laughs> thing going on. 
Yeah. All right. I am playing Dahada, Binder of Wills. Probably the companion to this one from the pre-cons. It is a planeswalker that costs Mardu, red, white, black, and colorless to cast. I can plus two her, give a legendary creature, vigilance, lifelink, and indestructible until my next turn. So the deck is pretty much legendary centric. I can do the minus three to reveal the top four cards of my library, put any number of legendary cards from them into my hand, and the ones that I don't, I put into my graveyard. When I do that, I make a number of treasure tokens equal to the ones that I put into my graveyard. So I can put them in my hand, I don't have to, I can just make treasures if I want. And then her minus ability is something that happens, minus 11, gain control of all non-land permanents until end of turn, untap them, they gain haste until end of turn. So like insurrection kind of thing built into my commander. Gaining life and dealing a lot of damage without having to tap my most of my creatures down. Today I got the new Jota, Jota the Unifier. He's also five color. This is legendary creatures get plus X plus X where X is the number of legendary creatures I control. So it's sort of like Coat of Arms, but only for legendaries. It also has what I like to call legendary cascade. Whenever I cast a legendary spell from my hand, exile cards from the top of my library until I exile a legendary non-land card with lesser mana value. I may cast the card without paying its mana cost, and then I put the rest at the bottom of my library in a random order. I pulled it in a pack. It was like my last pack in a pre-release box. Pulled it. I was like, I want to build this. I grabbed all the legendaries that were in my build book, oh, threw them in there, threw in a bunch of mana rocks. It's just janky, legendary, five-color good stuff. Today I'm playing Yo Master Chef. He is a 5-3 trample for two colorless and a black and a green. And he says, at the beginning of your end step, create a number of food tokens equal to the number of non-token creatures you had enter the battlefield under your control this turn. And then you can pay one colorless and sacrifice a food token and target creature gains indestructible until end of turn and then I tap it. So the game plan of this deck is to make a bunch of yummy food and then sacrifice them to do things. Sort of aristocraty theme. The treasures are overrated, so I'm playing food instead. I hate your deck! Now enjoy the show! Let's roll to see who goes first. All right. Oh, I got a six. Three, two. I got a six. Gosh. Whatever. I'm going to draw for turn. Right. I'm going to get this party started. Play a uh, planes and pass. I'll draw. Tapped overgrown tomb. Tapped overgrown I know. And then I'll pass. Tapped I'm going to pass. draw. I'm going to play an untapped overgrown tomb. Take two life. Tap it for a green and play a noble hierarch. It's a zero one human druid with exalted. And then I could tap to add a green, a white, or a blue. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> I know I'm doing Ramping. too much. I'm scooping. <laughs> Pass. Right, draw. Tapped. Smoldering marsh. Smoldering about it. And I will pass. Tap pass? Tap pass. Let's go. You know it. <laughs> I'll draw for turn. I'm going to play a mountain. I'm going to tap both of those. I'm gonna cast Felwar Stone. It is one man of any color that opponent can produce. I'm gonna tap the Felwar Stone. I'm gonna cast a top deck Shadow Spear. Ooh. So Shadow Spear is awesome because equipped creature gets plus plus one. It has trample and lifelink. For <laughs> one mana, I can get rid of your indestructibility. Boom. 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 I know. Boom. You're not gonna be happy Boom. with when I do that when you have your indestructibility. Mm -mm. And then I'll pass the turn to you. All right. It's all you. Well, untap. I'll draw for turn. Play a forest. We're all shocked. I know. <laughs> and a Golgar. And then a Mana Crypt. A very oh, fancy, shiny one. Indeed. Courtesy of my friend Josh. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Thank you. I'll Remember tap Josh. two. Black, green. And I'll play Guillaume. Out here already. The chef. He's cooking. Yeah. And I'll move to my end step. I had one creature enter the battlefield, so I'll make one food token. And then I'll pass the turn. Untap. Up. Well, he counts himself. He counts himself. Awesome. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. Time to make some food. I know, he's cooking. I guess that makes sense for flavor. Someone showed up. Yeah, Let's he make showed up. Exactly. Food. Flavor right there. Flavor all over. We're the in Flavor Town. Right? The flavor with the flavor yeah, saver. Exactly. Are we in Flavor Town? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. <laughs> so what are you doing, David? I'm going to play a Frost Boil Snarl Tap. When it enters, I could reveal an island or a mountain from my hand. If I don't, it enters tapped. But you don't know if I have an island or a mountain or not. I'm going to tap my Overgrown Tomb and my Noble Hierarch to play a Yanwar Loam Speaker. It's also new. 1-3 for 2, Elf Druid. I can tap it to add a mana of any color, and then I can tap it to make a target land I control become a 3-3 three, three Elemental with haste until end of turn. It's still a land, and I can activate only as a sorcery. I pass the turn. Hey, you're stepping push. up with the big boys <laughs> over here. I'm going to play a Mountain as my land for turn. Okay. I'm going to tap 2 and I'm gonna cast a Talisman of Hierarchy. It's a mana rock that allows me to tap for colorless, or I can tap to add a black or white, and it will deal one damage to me. And then I pass the turn after that. I untap, draw for turn. Okay. Play a forest to join the forest club. Let's go. Oh, Team yeah. green. Whatever. 
<laughs> you and I are sharing two colors so far. Not foresty enough for the forest club? No. Don't worry, I have a Yavamai in this deck. I'm gonna tap three. I'm gonna put Gigantha, my companion, into my hand. I will pass. On tap, move to upkeep. I'm gonna roll for crit. Odds you take damage. Odds I take damage. Ah, you don't take damage. Thank you, David. I'll draw for turn. Thanks, David. Thanks, David. <laughs> Thanks, David. Ha. God. I'm gonna play a land of waste. <laughs> At my mana crypt for two. I'll play Arcane Signet. Always rampant. You know. Green, ping myself for one off Land of War Wastes. And then black, I'm gonna Grim Tutor. So I'm gonna look for something. What am I looking for? Who knows? Something grim. Not myself. me. I'm not happy about that. A way to draw me card. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, he turns things indestructible with the food ability. And then I found it, and Is then I'll lose does? three Can lives. I'm going to move to combat. David dropped two of my dice off camera, so I'm swinging at you for five. Three tramps. <laughs> <laughs> good enough. The <laughs> off camera beat that has come on camera. <laughs> How much am I taking? Five. Five? Yeah, he's dead. You big. can block. Blah, blah, go ahead. With your Yana War. One, two, three, four, five. All past turn. It's you. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play Godless Shrine for the turn. I'm going to take two. So it comes in untapped. Stop hurting yourself. I know, right? Ugh. Red, a white, a green, a blue, and a black. That's how I would do it. To play Joe to the Unifier. Four legendary creatures get plus X plus X, where X is the number of legendary creatures I control. And then it has legendary cascade. Play legendary, exile off the top until I got one with lesser mana value. Put the rest on the bottom in a random order. And I pass. So he is a 6-6 six, six because I do control one legendary creature. So it gets plus one, plus one. All right. Draw. I'm gonna play a Plains as my land yeah. for turn. So there's already stuff going on here. I'm gonna tap for three. I'm gonna cast Thalia, Heretic Cathar. Mm. Yes, yes. So three, two with first strike. Creatures and non-basic lands your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. Oh, well, I only have non-basic, so that's not good. Yeah, I don't that's... have much going on in form of ramp, so I need you guys to kind of like not Stop. Slow down, <laughs> please. Slow down. <laughs> just chill for a minute. Give me three it's turns. just an upgraded <laughs> yeah. recon. Yeah. <laughs> I will passing? then go ahead and pass the turn. Okay, that. I'll do nothing on your end step. I'll untap, draw for turn. I will play a swamp. Thank you, swamps. Let's go swamp. All right, so the question is, what do I want to do first? I'm going to tap five, and I will play Gigantha, the Wellspring. It's my companion. When she can tap, I can get Uber, because mana can't be spent to pay generic mana costs. Cool. Comes into play tapped. And it comes into play tapped because of Thalia. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll pass turn. All right, uh, untap, upkeep, what would you like? Evens, you can take damage. Evens, I take damage? There's a three. Oh, I take three, one, two, three. Draw for turn. I'm gonna play a forest as my land for turn. One, two, six. Oh. Bootlegger stash. No. It is a green and artifact. It says lands you control have tap, create a treasure token. This is like the first Whatever. time I think I've seen someone play that card. Same. Ever. Likewise. Like I own it and I've been excited to play it. Yeah. I just haven't put it I in I just remembered anything. it the other day. I saw it on something and I was like, oh yeah, that card exists. Yes. Yeah. And I haven't picked it up yet. We're about it's... to see it do stupid shit. I I'm hope sure. so. In theory, I'm going to move to combat. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to swing your way on principle. What is Guillaume? He's a 5-3 with Trample. It looks like I could block it, but I think I see that you have some mana available with a food. I'm going to just, no blocks. All right, I'll take five. Five. And then that'll be the end of my turn. It's all on you. All right, untap. I saw your sneakiness. <laughs> Upkeep. Let's see what is happening. Not me. Draw. I'm gonna play a tapped Scalding Tarn. I'm gonna play a Talisman of Curiosity. Tap at a colorless, or I could tap at a green or a blue, and it deals a damage to me. I will tap one red, one black, one green, one colorless for Xira, the Golden Sting. It's a 3-3 flying haste. When Xira, the Golden Sting attacks, I put an egg counter on another target creature without an egg counter on it. When that creature dies, if it has an egg counter on it, I draw a card and create a 1-1 one, one black insect creature token with flying. Comes into play tapped. Understand. It comes into play tapped. With Joda, I now get two cascades. So let's reveal until I reveal a legendary permanent with three or less. Legendary non land permanent. It's three or less for a. Three or less. Yeah. Oseju, Stormcarved Coast, Zayatora, Wasitora, Rurikthar, Ishin. So I get Ishin to Heavens as one. If a creature attacking causes a triggered ability of a permanent I control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. So I will shuffle these, 
to put them randomly on the bottom. Now all of my legendaries get plus three plus three. Joda, the unifier is an eight eight. Oh, this comes in tapped because of your stupid Thalia. So out of principle, I will attack with my eight eight Joda. Wow, okay. But Noble Hierarch's Exalted Trigger triggers twice because of Ishin, so it gets an extra plus two, plus two. So it's a 10-10 swinging at you, Sean. All right, I will take the damage. Ooh. All right. Damn. Yes. That was Dude, rude. He, that was, I got I my little janky joke in there. I know, I know. Yeah. I'm not gonna sure. do anything. Ten. I pass to you, Sean. All right, untap. Sean, I'm sorry for you. I will play Kokoro, Center of the Sea, as my land for turn. It is a legendary land, taps for a colorless, uh, or I can tap for two and tap it, and each player draws a card. After I'm done crying about all the damage I just took, I will <laughs> tap for four, and I will cast my commander, Dahada, Binder of Wills. We need a bigger dice. <laughs> we need bigger dice, <laughs> yes. I'm going to uptick Dahada. One target legendary creature gains vigilance, lifelink, and indestructible until the end of my next turn. I'm gonna give it to Thalia. So Thalia has now got vigilance, lifelink, and indestructible, and first strike until the end of my next turn. I will go to combat. I'm gonna swing over at you, David, for a measly three, since you just knocked me for 10. And then you gain three? And I will gain three. One, two, three. That's important. Yeah. Yeah, give me a little bit back in, and then I will pass the turn. All right, and tap. On your upkeep, I have a action. Okay. I'm gonna pay one. I'll sacrifice my food token and I'm gonna tap down. Wait, why one? Because that's a Gomez ability. And I'll tap down the big deer to give it indestructible in 10 of turn. Savage, I forgot you could do that. Actually, it's an elk, not a deer. Yeah. All right, I will draw for turn. Play a forest. You got five mana right there. Don't, don't poke the tiger. <laughs> if I exile that, will you, not sweet, will you not hit me? Don't exile. Instead of me exiling your Joda, because I could have easily killed your Can Joda. Can you exile this? Yeah, exile that. He's that to me, that's the problem now that he's affecting my board state. <laughs> yeah. And you preventing me from playing this brand you. new deck that I want to play. Okay, fine. Exile that. I won't attack you. Okay. So I'll, I'll pass to exile your commander. That hurts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, Wait, so you go get to get a basic if you have any more in there, which I'm sure you do. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tap white green. I'm gonna cast Jensen, Corinthian, Druid Exile. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, scry one. If that spell was all colors, create a four, four white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. It comes into play tapped. Then I'm gonna tap three, color of note is green for Falaji, Wayfire. It is all colors. This ability doesn't affect its color identity. Multicolored spells you cast half convoke because this is all colors. This will trigger, I will scry one. I'll put that on the bottom. Then I create a 4-4 angel. This will be tapped and the 4-4 angel will come in tapped. And then I'm tapped out and I pass my turn. Can someone please right. make like a compilation of Mike <laughs> mispronouncing things? That's a lot, we have a lot of episodes. <laughs> Upkeep. It's like an hour long. Uh, what do you want? So odds you take damage. Odds I take damage. Yes. Nice. Is that a new shirt? Uh, all right, oh. I'm gonna draw for turn. <laughs> Fight oh. hard. <laughs> Got him. Tap three. I will play Academy Manufacturer. It's a 1-3 artifact creature assembly worker. If I create a clue or food or a treasure token, I instead make one of each. We gotta kill that. Yeah. Pretty good with bootlegger stash. Enters tapped. No, it's it enters tapped. It's, it's oh, this is, this is Adventure's Fair. Adventure's Fair. And it came in tapped. It came in to play tapped. It says, at the beginning of your upkeep, if I control three or more artifacts, I gain a life. It taps for colorless, and I can pay four, tap it, and sack it, and go two different artifact card, reveal it, put it in my hand, then shuffle my library. I can only do this if I control three or more artifacts. I wonder what can make three or more yeah. artifacts. If as soon as I find something, I'll tell you. <laughs> Tap all five of my lands for bootleggers and make five treasures, which makes five of each. Boom, boom. Kill him. Uh, He's getting. He look at this. Yeah. This is this is an engine. Kill him with the fire. The fact that this bootleggers can do the treasures without these. Yeah, these two are evil. Together. He's just gonna be able to use the treasures that's to like, search his library. That's like a perfect with the, hand. With the uh, thing. I am passing the turn. Okay. All right. Finally, get to untap. Yep. I'll play flooded grove. <laughs> tapped. Tapped. I will tap. Two. Two to play a Demir Signet. Let's add a black, a green, and a white. Let's tap my Frostbolt Snarl for a red to make a blue black to play Netherite, Apex of Death. I'm not gonna mutate him. Comes in tapped. Comes in tapped. But he's a 5-5 five, five Death Touch lifelink. When it mutates, return any number of target. Uh, well, it doesn't matter because yeah, it didn't mutate. Matter. He is a five cost, so let's cascade into something with four or less. Legendary. Well, Judith, right off the top. Other creatures I control get plus one plus so. Whenever a non-token creature I control dies, Judith deals one damage to any target. Also comes in tap. 
What a diva. One, two, no three, four, five. Yeah, so I have five legendaries. I really have to get rid of Thalia. <laughs> Hit no, him, no. not all hot. You're still doing it. <laughs> right, 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 right now, right now, right now, right now, his, yeah. this Boris thing Hello. is not scary. No, they're bullying me. Yeah. <laughs> this with this yeah. is winning. This is so, a winning combo here. This is a game winning combo. He literally can tap again, one, two, three, four, five, six. He can create six treasures, six foods, and six clues, which will let him draw recast commander and tap anything down that he wants to tap. So I can't one shot him, but I can make him pretty you low. Can I, can, I can put him at you four. You can hurt him and I can hurt him. Or I can put him at out. four. Or can, pff, hello? <laughs> or hear me out, you can spread the love. If you do that, David, I can kill him because I have my angel. David, listen. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what happened. Dark no. deals. When you, play, when you play mean magic, Raymond. <laughs> Not the government name. I wanted to get jiggy with it. I wanted to get jiggy with Jakana. No. No, don't do it. Jared wanted to ride up on that big old <laughs> you know, elk. Uh, Who else gets to ride on the elk with not that guy. big not, glowing horns? Oh, my homies hate that guy. <laughs> Gives him a good uplight. You know, he does selfies on Giganta. I'm going to move don't to do combat. It. Don't do it. You don't have to. I'm going to attack with Zira, Joda, and Ishin. At you, Mr. Raymond. Don't ever call me David. Only my mom gets <laughs> to call me that. <laughs> so David. this this is for the. And David. he touched your nose. And, and he touched your bubble. Me. My nose. <laughs> <laughs> <Invaded your bubble. laughs> when it attacks, I get to put an egg counter on another target creature without an egg counter. When it dies, if it had an egg counter on it, I draw a card and create a one-one black insect. I'm gonna put it on Thalia because I feel like that's the next to die. Oh well, we because the next the next problem is him. We gotta. We gotta team up and take him down. Let's... After I kill him, yes, I'm the next problem for you. What if yeah. I take two hot shot shots to not get swung? <laughs> what do I gotta do? What do it's I gotta like do? Tempting. You ever seen 20 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> I realize this made you a number one target. Academy yeah. manufacturer with bootlegger stash. I thought you'd never seen this you know, card before. I, I own it, but I've never seen them play. And the minute I see interact with this, I'm like, you gotta die. So good. <laughs> you so are good. dead. No. This is a this is a, this is a reason to kill you. Love. Fuck tapping my Giganta. <laughs> this is a reason to kill you. Because this is only what your deck wants to do. You got tons of food, you can just Tap so much mana to tap all yeah. of us down. Let him, let him and then eat. Swing. Well, he can only sack foods when he does it. My dad once said, "Rest in peace." Don't put your dick in the guillotine. <laughs> Why did he say? <laughs> yeah, what was the context ever? Not in the guillotine. I think that's don't. just a good rule of. Dude, that is. A, I'm gonna have nightmares don't. about it. Don't stick your dick in the guillotine. I mean, don't put everything out on the table just for you to die. I haven't yeah. done things yet. <laughs> oh, you yeah, you haven't done this things. Is a lie. You haven't done this things. Is a you need to be protecting yourself more. Because of Ishin, I get to put two egg counters because it triggers twice. I'll put an egg counter on Mike's 2-2 two -two and Mike's 2-4. And I'm swinging for nine, nine, and 11. Yeah, I'm hitting you for 29. So because, you're hitting him for 29 because this because is of buffing Joda them for and how many legendary creatures, and right. Judith is giving it a plus one on top of that. Yes. So I'm tagging you for 29. Woo. Can cool. someone kill my thing See, so I can just pick him? But this is fun, isn't it for you? Oh, very fun because this is, I'm going to get to win this. Ask time. me. Why you did you this? say it? I know. He, yeah. he, he jinxed oh, himself. Dude. Okay, are you doing any of their main phase two no. actions? No, I don't think so. He is totally trying to kill me after that. I kill you. Oh, don't oh worry. for sure. My next start. Don't you're worry. The threat. I am, yeah, you're I am the threat. 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 100%. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pass after that. Say, at the end of my turn, I crack Scalding Tarn. Take a life to put first island slash mountain I find. Secret foundry under the battlefield tapped, and then I pass. Okay. And tap, draw. He dropped your dice. <laughs> it's the last time, brother. <laughs> he was like, yo, I'm dropping your dice I and know. I'm dropping your life I know total. Exactly. It's Damn, 29. The dice life always have nightmares. rises to the top. Your life total and <laughs> dice are dropping. I'm so glad you're not my ride home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play. Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Sweet uh, little legendary land card right there. It can also tap to add a colorless, or I can tap two and each player draws a card, then discards a card. It's kind of like the uh, opposite of Makokoro. You like sharing the draws. I don't I don't mind that. I don't. They came with the deck. <laughs> and I would take them out if I had better legendary lands to put in. But I don't. I'm going to minus three Dahada, reveal the top four cards of my library, put any number of legendary cards from among them into my hand, and the rest into the graveyard, create a treasure token for each one I put into the graveyard this way. So minus three puts her from seven down to four. Then I will reveal the top four cards of my library, 
They are Miri, The Cursed, Heroes Podium, Shivan, Gorge, and Swamp. I will put, well, this will go into my graveyard. This will go into my graveyard. This will go into my graveyard. This will go into my hand. I will create three treasure tokens. Thank you. Sir, your dice. Thank you. This is how you create die. This is how you create treasures a way that's not going to put you at one. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, here's how you don't die yeah, in the exactly. show. Yeah. But at least I didn't put my dick in the guillotine. No, I did not. <laughs> no, you did put your dick in the guillotine. I think you did. <laughs> this is your dick in <laughs> <and laughs> the fucking guillotine. Yeah. <laughs> so what so I'm going to tap now? for two. Yep. Put food on the dick. And I'm going to cast a Felwar stone. I wear Felwar stone buddies. Felwar buddies. Uh, then I'm going to tap for three, four, five. And I'm going to sack two treasures. Ooh. Okay. For seven. Some damage is gonna happen. And I'm gonna cast Gisela, Blade of oh, Gold Knight. Oh. 29 at my face. Yes. <laughs> we do all that. I just need some uh, protection. Dahada is at four loyalty. It's a 5-5 five, five flying first strike. If a source would deal damage to an opponent or planeswalker an opponent controls, that source deals double that damage to that player or permanent instead. If a source would deal damage to you or a permanent you control, prevent half the damage rounded up. I have a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, and she has flying and first strike on top of that. No big deal. Once I have done this. How much does it cost to do the food for life? Two. Two, and he only has five treasures. So I can only do it two times. Right. Okay. So he can only gain six, which would save him for Mana Crypt. I'm passing the turn. My Paul taking was just that damage gets doubled to your opponents, my friend. <laughs> I'm going to untap first, and I'm going to draw for turn to see what I draw. You can get the cards like Gollum. <laughs> Ooh. That's what I'm saying, right? You know what I mean? Come on now. The only thing that really sucks is the half damage to him is He's later, dude. Problem. Yeah, it's, it's very much vulnerable. I mean, you can still kill it. I'll tap five, one of each color. I'll cast Jared. Jared gets five counters on him. I casted a multicolor spell. That'll bring an angel in tapped, and I'll scry one. I'll keep that on top. Daddy triggers baby. What? Wait. <laughs> Jared triggers Jensen. I will Aren't minus they daddy Jared. And baby? They could be daddy. Jared could be Jensen's daddy. <laughs> I mean, Jared is daddy. Let's I just don't say like... that right off the bat. All right. I'm going to minus to two, Jared. Choose up to two target creatures for each creature. Put a number plus one counter equal to its color. Five on Wafer. And I'm going to put two on Gigantha. She thick. So the only way I can deal with the respect for your board state, I guess, is I have to swing at you, but I'm able to do eight damage to you. All right, hear me out. <clears throat> okay. My so, mana crypt will kill me, right? Hypothetically. It you might foods. not. You have food tokens. Uh, but it, but, but if he... You can't kill him, can you? Because his damage is halved. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I need one more turn to deal with, with what he has going on. And I can at least take in the face what he's going to send because he can do 16 to me, yeah, and I can take 16. But I can't take how much damage you're going to take to me, which is unfortunate. He has put me in a fortunate position where I have to deal with your board state, and I have to deal with his board state. So my options are I have to send... It's going to the combat. Vigilance is going to... So enter Before combat. we make any hasty decisions, I just wanted to say... My dad, may he rest in peace, would know how to politic his way out of this. <laughs> First of all, he's, he's not passed. He's, not, he's, he's alive. alive. He's, he's, he's very fine. He's not alive. resting in peace. He's yeah. just okay. in memoriam. But we're remembering <laughs> him right let now. Me, so eight damage, definitely going this way. <laughs> this would be 14, uh -huh. 10 for 24, and four, and four. for 28. <laughs> so I can hit you for exactly 28. Five. And I can hit you for eight. That's hot. Responses. Yes, I have one. <laughs> <laughs> you were so close. Let's go. You just said so it close. though. You you, you can't you can't change you yourself. Change yourself. You uh, in response, I'm gonna crack a treasure and sack a clue to see if I get something to save okay. my life. I'll go to three, one less clue, and I'll draw a card. 
Note to furnish protection and guard. <clears throat> I'm gonna uh, pay two. <laughs> crack a clue. Go crack a clue, draw a card. You son of a. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lisa Land. did things. You got to do some things that I hate your deck. Yeah, I you hate your deck. You know what? <laughs> I, I, hate, I hate your deck. You got the whole hey, 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 no, you got I the, hate your deck. No. I hate your combo. That's what right, I hate. Exactly. I hate you got the host to it. hate your deck. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. And you brought flowers. You're it's happy. I know. Going exactly. to Hawaii next I know. Time. I got two of us dice. Okay, so you guys all dead. I'm sorry. Fucking stupid. Now the adults will play magic. Oh, buddy. Do I have any triggers that happen? Yeah, you can go fuck yourself. And double it because of Ishin. So I think I pass to you. Oh, and then to David. Oh, and then to you. Oh, I was going to David Walker. That was quick. All right, I will untap. Man, that was quick. That was. A lot quicker than the last couple turns. I don't know how that happened. I'm gonna draw. That was fast. That was that was quite fast. Planes as my lands for turn. A basic plans. Basic. Today. That in mind, yeah. I'm going to tap. You produce black. Yes, I and do. And a colorless. And I'm gonna cast Knight's Whisper. What does that do? Sorcery. I draw two cards and lose two life. But do you lose one because of Gisela? It's only damage. damage so I'm somewhere. still losing okay. life. I will lose two. And indeed. Magic is very cards. important with keywords yeah, and wording. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna tap for four, Kokoro, Talisman for Colorless, and two planes, and I'm gonna cast Zerium. Golden Wing is a 3-4 legendary griffin for three and a white. It has flying. Whenever a griffin I control deals combat or crombat damage to a player, <laughs> create a 2-2 two -two white griffin creature token with flying. I'm going to uptick Dahada plus two to six, give Gisela Vigilance, lifelink, and indestructible <laughs> until my next turn. Then That's I will great. enter Crombat and swing on you, Mike, with Gisela for five flying first strike. At me? Indestructible. <laughs> ten, you mean? Lifelink. Mm. The damage would be ten, would be doubled if she goes through. Ten. Or, yeah, it will be ten. So it's five, but that turns into ten. Okay, I'll take ten. I'll Just go to three. Right, lose half your life? Just kidding. You gain ten. I'm just gonna do this because he, I don't have He gains have any... 10. Oh, I do gain 10. Now, that, may, that is very more problematic for me. That is makes That lifelink is we not good for that me. Makes I'm gonna cast Luxior, Giada's Gift. I also have that in my deck, I oh, wonder why. Do you? It is a legendary equipment artifact. For one, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one for each counter on it. Equipped permanent isn't a planeswalker and is a creature in addition to its other types. Loyalty abilities can still be activated. And it has an equip a planeswalker of one and equip regularly of three. I will then pass the turn. I will untap. Let's go Lynch. I think I'm in trouble, actually. I think he, I did his bidding. I think I have to though still try to get some kind of board state going. So I'll tap Gigantha for Uberg. I'll tap one, tap a red and a green, and I'm gonna tap a white, red, black. So I'm gonna cast Mana Cannons. Mana Cannons is an enchantment. Whenever you cast a multicolor spell, Mana Cannons deals X damage to any target where X is the number of colors that spell is. Ooh. Then I'm going to cast Oh Gotcha Vengeful Kami. <laughs> Gotcha. That's what I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him Oh Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Uh, you, how do you say it, David? It's Okagachi, no? Okagachi. Okagachi. Okagachi Vengeful Kami. It rhymes. It's Gotcha. I'm gonna. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna oh, get gotcha. you outside. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. One way or another. Mm. So I got a bunch of triggers. Ogachi is going to trigger Jensen, so I get to scry one. I'm gonna keep that on top. I create another angel, so I'm just gonna have one tapped, and I'm gonna have these two that are not tapped. Tap it the other way. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, the mana cannon triggers. Mm -hmm. So I get to do five damage, which will be halved, rounded down. Of uh, source would deal damage to you or permanent you control. Prevent oh, half that damage rounded up. So I would do three damage? Yes. First of all, the center's tap. Five. I'm definitely killing the Thalia. Thalia will die. Mana cannons oh, yeah. will trigger and kill Thalia. Boom. The judge just told us because this is all on cast, whenever you cast a multicolored spell, yeah. deal damage. So because I killed that gotcha is oh. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, gotcha. How do you say it again? Okagachi. Oh, Okagachi oh, uh -huh. is going to come un untapped and so will the angel. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now we're doing things. Yes. Then with the last white and green that I tapped from the board state. So I'll tap the angel yeah. and I'll use the white 
and green to cast Fabro Elder. Yes. Yay, I did the Let's thing. Let's go. Okay, so then on the cast trigger, Mana Cannons will do one damage to something because he's only a two color Is permanent. Is any target? This? Yeah. Yeah. So on the face? Yeah, your face. I then also get to scry one, but I already know what it is, so I'm leaving that there. But you don't make another angel. I don't make an angel because it's not all colors. I will have to uptick my dude to make a kavu. There's Colored a kavu. It's all colors, all color, all color kavu. Actually, sure. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna tap five, and I'm gonna cast Sir Suruk Dragon Claw. Thank you. On cast trigger, it has three colors, mm -hmm. so I can do two damage. Do your face. So two? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I will pass the turn. So I'm, I'm now out of, out of cards. All right. It's all you. Okay. I will untap. Draw. Two we black and a colorless. Yep. Like a special rule. Two you black and two children. colorless, and I will cast Miri the Cursed. It's a 3-2 flying first strike haste. Whenever she deals combat damage or combat damage to a creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on Miri the Cursed. Vampire Cat. Tap two and a take a damage from the Talisman for black. And I'm gonna cast Varric. Warped Singear is a 2-2 legendary creature with flying, death touch, and lifelink. Whenever I activate an ability that isn't a mana ability, if life was paid to activate it, I may pay that much life again. If I do copy that ability, I may choose new targets for the copy. I'm scared of what you might have put in that deck that would activate that. No, he does. It's, it's, it's rounded up. It's rounded up. It, you, you can't have one. No. Yeah. Well, yeah, so no, percent you, one. You take half, so half of one is 0.5, and it rounds up to one. And then when I killed his thing, you I did five damage, and that rounded up as three. So, so I did. So that Dahlia does stay. Killed. Yeah. So I do stay killing that. So do I? Do I gain two? So you would have one more. Right. I think I fixed it. I put myself up from one from okay. the last turn. So we had a judge just say that we had a little mistake. So technically, I couldn't have done the what the two damage. I would have only done one damage to you out of the three yeah. from casting the Fabro Elder. Okay, got you. We got right with Thalia. Okay. The Faber Elder that you did to me was only one damage because it was three. So right. I took, so I actually gained one more life. And then I don't take damage from using the Talisman. Okay. So I just don't take any damage. Okay, so we're good. We're caught up. What? Continue your turn. All right. So I, I did tap this to cast the Varric Warps and Sing okay. here. All right, I'm gonna uptick Dahada to from six plus two to eight and give Gisela lifelink, indestructible, and vigilance until my next turn. I will go to combat and I'm going to swing. That has haste? Miri has haste. Jeez. And Zerium and Gisela. All at me. Yes. Miri, actually, I'm sorry. Miri is gonna go at Jared and then. Zerium and the Gisela are going at your face. I am going to block Miri and I'm gonna block the Golden Wing. And I'm gonna take another 10 to the face. Another 10. Yep, so these both will die. Thank you. Oh, because she gets a plus one? Whenever she deals combat damage to a creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on her. Doesn't matter if it dies okay. or not. Are you second main? Okay, so damage has gone through. Yep. You take 10, I will. Oh, fucking A. Go How am I gonna get through this? Second main phase, nothing. I will pass the turn, okay. go to you. So I untap. Punch him in the face. I nice. will draw for turn. I minus to kill Jared. Five plus one counters on... On Ogachi? Ogachi. I'm gonna put another five on here to give him 10. So he's got 10. I can tap this for five because I have all five colors. Two for the colorless to recast Jared Corinthian and put five plus one counters on him. I then deal, it's only two because of five, right? So yeah. it's, it's a, I did a five spell, I do two damage. I'll do two damage to your planeswalker. Okay. We'll just say that. So then Jensen triggers, I scry one, I'll put that on the bottom, and I create another angel that will be summoning sick. Then I'll minus this to two. 
I'll put another five plus one counters to put 10 total on Ogachi. I only have one more placement. Uh, oh, that's I'd put what it I'm on, saying. For what it's worth, I'd put it on either Ciroc or Gigantha. Ciroc's a 6-6. Six, six. Well, no, but he would only get three. This would get five. So I'll, I'll give the Kavu. But can you attack with the Kavu? It came in last He's turn. last turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Pay two. Put the Shadow Sphere on Ogachi, because I'm going to try to Ogit ya. Get him. Think you're gonna. Then I'm going to swing out. That's respect. Math is for blockers. Vigilance. Wonderful. So, so choose your blockers. What is it? it down. So, so three, three, and then this is 16, which would be plus that. So, so seven. It says prevent half that damage rounded up. So four is still, or seven is still gonna be three. It, it, yes. And this is a 17, 17. So then the half damage is still eight. So he'd yes. prevent, okay. So it deals 14. half rounded down. It's the same effect as this. Only be taking 24 damage. I seem to get more on the board. You have two cards. How many cards in hand do you have? One. One card in hand and you have- <laughs> One hidden card. <laughs> two mana available. You have nothing you can untap. Holy mother of God. I think I'll just take it. Unless you've got something that's gonna double that damage or do something that's gonna get me because you got me with your Okagachi. So you're declaring no blocks. Uh-oh. I'm just Isn't asking, this I, mean, I had yeah. to ask. Yeah. Oh, this is indestructible, that's right, yeah. All right, so I will block something. What you can turn like? that indestructibility off. I don't want to get God I'm again. able to absolutely do that at instant speed. I'm gonna block Jensen with Varric, and I'm gonna block your angel token with Gisela. I'm gonna actually block your Kavu with Gisela, and I'm gonna block Jensen with the Warped Sengir. So doing 23 damage to you? And then you're gonna gain 10 life? Yes, I stand to gain 10 life. Actually, I stand to gain 12 life. Actually, 14 life, sorry. Well, I just really don't have much I can do, well. No, I can't. Uh, multicolor spells have Convoke, right? Not creature spells, just multicolor spells? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tap this angel for the Convoke of Multicolor spell for white. I'll tap this for red. I'm going to Boris Charm. I'm then gonna also pay, well that's inside white, to make your permanent uh, not indestructible. I'll give the, what you're targeting, you targeted the Kavu with yes. Gisela yeah. with double strike. So you're gonna give the Kavu double strike. Correct. And I'm doing, with the trigger of mana cannons on the cast trigger, I'm doing one damage to Gisela. To Gisela, okay. So then Gisela takes one. She'll take one damage. Dam has one damage on her. Correct. And then this is gonna have then, double strike, so it's gonna hit for four, which would also kill it, and it's gonna, they're gonna kill each other. They are killing each other. So yeah. They're gonna trade. They're gonna trade. Okay. On that double strike. So then you're gonna gain 10 off that gain 10. first hit. Yeah. Right, because we're, gonna, well, we're in double strike right now. We're in, we're in double strike damage. So this dies. Yeah, I gain 10. That dies, you gain 10. Well, well, how much life was he at? I got you. Okay, now that Giselle's gone, my damage goes through, right? No, the, all the damage second happens damage? at the same time. Yeah, all damage. No, but there's double strike. Okay. No, but double strike, it's off the field. Yeah. So now I guess you're hitting me for a lot, right? Now that we're in regular combat, you block this Jensen, this Jensen with, with Varric. The 2-2 two, two flying the death two, two flying lightning. So they're both gonna kill each other. I guess so. Because it's a 2-2 two, two, mm -hmm. and that's a 2-2. Two, two. So these two die. The, the I gained life. the 10, and then I gained two life from Varric blocking your Jensen. And they Jensen trade. Died, so they both trade. trade. So they trade. And now regular combat damage. Now so regular, regular combat, combat I believe we've calculated 48 damage. So this is 17 here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus. Plus seven. Plus 12. Plus six. Plus four. Yeah. 46. 46. 46. 46. So I'm doing 46 damage to you. Yeah, I got no blocks. So you're going down to 10. Yes, I'm going down to 10, and you're gonna gain... 17. Oof, no way you pull this out, right? I think so, I mean, been in the driver's seat. Now that we've dealt damage, Ogachu is going to trigger. When it does combat damage to a player, if that player attacked you during the last turn, exile target Nalan permanent that player controls. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just get your commander. Yep, I think Make you recast it. your commander. Yep. And now that I'm done with all my triggers, I pass the turn. All right. You're took... like, if I kill you, at least I kill someone else. God dang it. This Man. is the Larry killer. I know, right? He's gonna kill me, don't worry. He's here all day. I... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna suffer from this. <laughs> this is still janky. This is the five color. This came in the pre-con. Pre-con, pre-con. Pre look, 
This is all pre-con except for the Gigantha. We don't play jank because look, look. it takes too long. Boros Charm was added, but this was also in the pre-con. So and there's no mana crypts. Oh, but I added the Shadow Spear. That was definitely not in the pre-con. I think my play might still be to recast my commander and down ticker. She costs six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Recast my commander, Dahada. Yep. I mean, so one. The two commanders against each other. The pre-con versus pre-con, both modified. All out battle. Battle to the death. We suck. Who will be the greediest <laughs> yeah. player? Minus three, Dahada, and reveal the top four cards in my library. They are a uh, decent amount of cards. Um, you reveal, right? Yeah, you reveal. I reveal them. These are the four cards. I can't put this one into my hand. Oh. Oh. I can't because it's not legendary. Oh. So <laughs> the Ruinous Ultimatum will definitely go. That will make me another treasure. And then probably just gonna die a sad, sad death. <laughs> no, you need more flyers um, right now. I make, I need just more of everything. I need my, my girl to be back out here, Gisela. How many creatures do you have? And they all have trample? They all have trample because yeah, of Sarah really Dragon matter. Claw. Well, what are you putting on the battlefield? Are, you put, are they just going in your hand? Uh, they, they'll go to my graveyard. I'll make more. I, I hope I'm not just like... You already had... I already had two, so two, had two more. So I have four treasures. Okay. They don't do jack squat. I will... Yeah. You pass? Pay one and put this on my commander. Hey, at least you have another blocker. <laughs> We gotta look at positive. I could play life. another blocker, I guess. Are you going to? Yeah, Yeah, do I'll it. cast Cranko. Okay, you cast Cranko. one, and then two more. Perfect, so Cranko's on the battlefield. So Cranko's on the battlefield, yeah. You should definitely do that. Oh, man. All right, I'll play a tap Triumph land. <laughs> There's the Triumph. <laughs> There's the Triumph. I guess I'll just uptick this to make a Kavu so I can have a blocker. Yeah. Because you need blockers. I just swing out, so. Uh, 17 at you again in the air, seven. Wait, Jared dead? 12, not 17, yeah. sir. Yeah, it is Jensen's 17. Jensen's dead. It is 17. Yeah. No, Jared, he's not dead. Jared's no, he's not, not dead, dead, but he's, he's, I plussed him. Yeah. Oh, you plussed him. I my plussed my him bad, for the, bad, I couldn't bad. do the minus yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I'll just swing with everything. The, it all the, has the two a angels, trample, right? And they all have trample, I'll even swing, and this is a 5-5. Five, five. This has, this even has if I block this, I mean, I can block a total of four, five, six, seven, uh, seven in the air, and then four on the ground. So then I do so good game. ten. Oh, in the air. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> well done, dude. That, I honestly well done, thought guys. you had good me game. though. I gotta say, like, good I game. thought good game. good game. When they were, when they were. Oh, oh no! Oh, did you take that from me? <laughs> Hold on. Thank you. But I honestly, like, I gotta say, I honestly thought the game was over. Yeah. I felt like I was staring at my board for a long time, being like, "How do I get out of this?" And then. When you guys kept giving me the, if you don't win, we're gonna hate you forever. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. They were like, you better not have killed us yeah. and not do it. Yeah. You're the shittiest player ever. Yeah, and then I was like, I felt the pressure from that. I felt the pressure. I, that was uh, cool. no. And then when you, but when you made your blocker choices, and then I was able to, luckily because of the um, convoke. Yeah, the yeah. Because you know, that saved my ass all game. That convoke. Yeah, I don't know if it was greedy of me to, to block the Kavu. Maybe it was, I guess. But I, think, I just I felt like. So if you declare no blockers, right? Then you take twenty four. Yeah. yeah well, he he still can give something block. double strike. Yeah, I would have given double strike. It was just really lucky that I top deck Boros Charm. Yeah, I mean not for oh, nothing. Was it top deck? Top deck? For me to know. I had no cards in hand for a while. You guys didn't see that I was top decking. Just hype but, for but, you. But then luckily yeah. that, that the Jensen that was letting me scry really helped because I yeah. kept getting lands at the end. Yeah. yeah. And once I didn't need lands because I didn't have any cards, I just kept bottoming the lands. Yeah, dude, sweet build. That just felt like the yeah. the best. I mean, it's it's. I think I only changed twelve cards, not including the lands, because I took out the ten regular lands but yeah, the but triumphs. These new these new precons sometimes they built them like they have a really good structured like skeleton to them, and yeah. all you need to do is just like you know upgrade the mana Strictly base upgrades. and then like throw in whatever cards that you really want or that are considered better. You know what I mean, like. Giselle is a great, I think, a great add to a deck like this. She's a good card in general, but uh, I almost want to add Giselle in this deck after what happened to my face. I was like, man, Giselle I mean, hurts. Yeah. But does she double? Does she have any double uh, colors? She's just two colors. She's no, but I mean, does she? How, would you have to pay? Oh, it's white, uh, white, it's white, white, red. Yes, yeah, so that's why I couldn't have Giganta yeah. then. Nope. So yeah. That's why I probably don't have her in this deck. 
Because, like, I did do things, like, I took out some of the weak cards in here and I put a Traxa in here, even though we never saw her. <laughs> all the stuff yeah. that I spent all the time adding, we never <laughs> saw them come Isn't out. Isn't that always how it is, Except though? for the Boros Charm and the um, I need a spe Shadow Spear. The dual With the Shadow lands. Spear put in a the lot of work had, for me. The card I had uh, on the sideboard before I, I meant to actually put it in here was a Wrath of God. Oh, yeah? Mm. Which yeah, would have been need, helpful. That would have been really helpful but for you. But at the end of the day, it's, again, it's like... You you know, you I got the think, ruinous though, ultimatum. You're a good player. You really made me think. I really had to earn that win. Oh, well, I And you know what? That. Should, should I, well. I feel like because I win and you're friends with Larry, Larry made a thing that when you win, you had to take a hot shot sauce. A, a hot shot sauce. A hot shot sauce. A hot doing sauce this all day. shot. Do it. You got this. So I'm going to take this because I won. You're going to do it. You're going to do solidarity, it. Bro. Solidarity, bro. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm not doing it. Yeah, there's yeah, there's a little good, bit. That's good. That's good. Okay, you're good. You'll do it. There you go. I'll do the full shot. Hey man, I haven't done that was yet. really fun, dude. That was a great that game. Really no, great game. You. <laughs> Sheesh. Ah, <laughs> spicy wins here on your deck. Okay. Well, I appreciate you coming on. <laughs> I wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun, my friend? <laughs> At guess. least you gave me that look. Like if I didn't pull it off, you're yeah. like, you yeah. better not have that. Exactly, because it was all fun and games. And then you said. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was so excited because I paid eight mana for Gigantha, and I was like, yeah. "Man, you're tapping her down, and I don't get to cast my commander." Absolutely. Yeah. I thought, I, honestly, I thought when that happened, I was like, I'm, I, "I'm done. He's gonna kill me forever. I'm, I'm out of this game." And I, I do, I do feel like I got lucky. I definitely got lucky because yeah. of the politics, and because like things like you becoming a threat, <laughs> and then we thought you weren't gonna a be a hot threat. Right here. Yeah, it's hotter. Jesus. And yeah. then we, but then you became a threat real quick. After no, not think, being a threat. I think I was able to utilize you being able to kill him. Yeah. And then you were just like, I'm just going to kill him. And so yeah, the dice I was happened. just like over the here. The dice I, I cast, when I cast Giselle, I was like, this will help to kill my opponents. Sorry. And then hopefully give me a chance to untap, which it did. And then I just didn't really have much going on after that. So how was your first time being an I Hear Deck as a patron? Uh, it was exciting, it was spicy, it was a bummer. All at the same time, all the emotions, it was a roller coaster. That's a good, that's, that's a good a experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, good. we'll have to bring you back. I hope so, I hope so, thank you, yeah. <laughs> Maybe hope, one time. Hope I get to play. <laughs> Just kidding. You do that combo, though, was pretty sick to see happen on camera. I know, next turn I had a I, pretty good I, I think there was a reason we all killed you. Yeah. No, um, I'm starting to sweat now too, so I'm gonna, exactly. I'm gonna, we'll, we're gonna cut. Thank you, thank you guys for coming. You're all welcome back on this show. This was a thank great you. time. And uh, until next time. If you want to support I Hate Your Deck, please consider joining our Patreon. It's an excellent community that we have built with people from around the world where we play magic in our Discord using Spell Table. If you haven't had a chance to play online magic yet, try out our Discord. It's a great community where people are gaming daily. And every Thursdays we have Commander Day where people play all day and night, but the community's gotten so big, Commander Day is almost every day at I Hate Your Deck. It's time for the Patreon shoutouts. I'd like to thank Clayton Flores, Aaron Phelps, and Dante. Thank you guys. If you want a shout out, you need to be a tier four or tier five patron where we give shout outs. Now we love all of our patrons, but it's just one of the perks of being a tier four or tier five patron. Without you patrons, we wouldn't be where we are today and we wouldn't be able to keep making content. So thank you so much for helping us make this show a reality. And we're really excited to keep bringing you great content for the years to come. I can't wait to be able to bring my son on the channel once he gets old enough, let me tell you. I hate your deck. Los Angeles is the sunny home of we the wizards of the West Coast. And the guests we fuck with on this epic show. I hate your deck. Guitar solo. is toe to toe from Cassius Marsh to fucking Post Malone the best commanders and the lowest blows I hate your death we're on a roll <laughs> wow so attack play your cards and say go be you white blue black red green or gold it's a counter spell what's the deal bro I hate, I hate your death now enjoy the show your deck.
Join the I Hate Your Deck Patreon exclusive Discord to get the various benefits and be able to play Commander daily with people from around the world in our global community.